All right, Matt, it's Father's Day weekend. It's sure also is. U.S. Open weekend for oh. golf. A lot of dads love to golf. If they want to, you know, get out there this weekend, what can they expect? Just spectacular weather out there. Really, really doesn't get much better than this this time of year. One thing I do know, Steven's going to be hitting him just like Scotty Scheffler if he goes out there this weekend. I've golfed with him a few times. I've seen it myself. Storm Tracker right now, you see some clouds, some sunshine out there, especially in northern areas. We've got a front going through our region right now. You see there's a more of a south wind over the upper valley, whereas the wind in the St. Lawrence Valley and the Champlain Valley is turning to the west and northwest. So right along that front, there's a couple little downpours popping up near Essex County in Vermont, moving into Coas County right now. Nothing severe there. Just a couple of showers in far southern Vermont. Wall pull down toward Brattleboro should be ending in the next 20 minutes or so. And then the sun comes out this afternoon. So behind this cold front, it's much cooler and much drier. We've got high pressure that's moving in for the weekend just in time. Temperatures right now mostly in the 70s. We've got 78 in Burlington, still up to 70 in Brattleboro. You see the streets are wet there on Main Street because of the rain that just moved through. We should see a drier afternoon. Still a chance of a thunderstorm in southern Vermont later today, and that's because we're still dealing with dew points way into the 60s. The front is just coming through the Champlain Valley now, so you see dew points are really falling in northern areas into the 50s, and that'll continue to push south and east as we head through the rest of the afternoon. You'll see on Futurecast really not much going on. Even in southern Vermont, there could be one or two storms, but I think the severe threat is quite low at this time. Now behind that, the weekend, man, it's just looking spectacular. A north breeze all day on Saturday, but you see we've got basically nothing but sun from start to finish on Saturday. Same thing goes for Sunday. Lots of sunshine. The wind is calm on Sunday morning, and that might get us down into the 40s, and then we get right back up into the 70s on Sunday afternoon. Maybe a few high afternoon clouds, but both weekend days are looking nice and sunny. It's cool this weekend. Look at these Sunday morning low temperatures. 30s and 40s with clear skies and calm wind. Enjoy that because if you don't like the heat, you're not going to like next week. Starts to really get warm on Monday. We come close to 90. I don't think we quite get there, but it's really Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday being the pinnacle of the heat. Upper 90s likely with lots of humidity on top of that, so it's not like it's dry out there. You see how the dew points really go up later on Monday. So I think Monday is fine humidity-wise, but then Monday night into Tuesday especially, we get up into the oppressive category. You see Tuesday through Friday, we're sort of fluctuating between the very humid category and the oppressive category. So we're talking Florida levels of humidity each of the days, Tuesday through Friday. So enjoy the weekend. We've got a stray storm today behind that. It's nice and comfortable Saturday and Sunday, and then Monday and Tuesday, that's when you really start to notice the increase. And uh, Wednesday is Juneteenth. We'll just pick this out because it's the pinnacle of the heat. High temperatures in the upper 90s, but look at the heat index. This is the feels like temperatures combining the heat and humidity. Many of those towns above 100 so that's how it feels on Wednesday. And then by Friday of next week, we should start to see some thunderstorms that could cool us off back into the 80s by the following weekend.